Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Jerry Asir and I'm a SharePoint MVP. In this session, we're going to look at a very important piece of information in SharePoint called lists. Lists are integral part of SharePoint. Almost everything is SharePoint is saved in a list. So it's very important to understand the architecture, how to create and use a basic list, what are the different types of lists and how you can create and modify them. So let's go and look at how we can create different types of lists. So for this demo, first of all, I'm using uh, a special hosting environment. Uh, this environment is built on top of um, CloudShare. CloudShare is uh, a free service, um, also paid, uh, available for testing as well. Uh, is basically a service which allows um, a very easy building and management and, and share business application instantly on demand in the cloud. So for more information, go to cloudshare.com. So you can see here right now, I'm using a blank template. In this template, I don't have any uh, list already there. So let's go ahead and create your first list. So first, let's look at the options, how we can create different uh, uh, the lists. First option to go to site action and click on more options. This way, a new Cellulite based drop down will appear, a uh, dialog will appear, which will allow you to select different kind of lists. So if you click on the list sections, you will find out different kind of lists available in the blank site. So you can create a calendar, you can create a contact, you can create custom list, you can create external list, and you can also create links, project tasks, survey, and uh, only tasks. So for this demo, let's go and create your first announcement list. So let's give it the name announcements. Now, once you enter the name, the next option you can do is to click on more option, which will open um, another section in the same dialog, which will allow you to do more things like adding description. This is a central announcement. And you can also select the option whether you want to show it in the quick launch or not. So let's click yes and click create. So now you have created your first list in SharePoint. So in this list, we will be able to create announcements for some certain actions. Let's say you have won a new project in your company. To tell others about it, you can use announcement list to have a title and body and the expiry for that news. So our news, our announcement list has been created. So let's go ahead and create our first announcement. So you can see here, SharePoint has the ribbon available to you, which you can, which you can use to create items. So if you click on the items ribbon, you will find this new item um, option or button available with the drop down. You can click on the new item here and it will open up a dialog which will allow you to enter the title of the announcement. So SharePoint training video series and you can enter the body. So you can see the best option in this is uh, that as soon as you go to a multi um, a rich text box, you can see the ribbon is changed to multi text box at uh, multi text box as well. So uh, let's create a SharePoint lists item. You can see I can make it bold and I can make it uh, like this. I can also enter expiry. So you can see here uh, I can choose that this news, this uh, announcement will expire on 18th of March 2011. So uh, right after 18th of March, this um, this announcement will never uh, will not be visible unless you go and modify the date again. To modify the the an item, you can see there is a checkbox here. You can use it, and then um, you can click Edit Item. You can see it's been enabled as soon as I check the checkbox, or you can click on the title here, and it will open up the same dialog again. And you can click on Edit Item, and you can change something. Uh, 
um, and you can click save and you will see that your announcement has been saved so that's the basic way of how to uh, create and um, add items to a list so let's go ahead and uh, use another way of creating list another way of creating list is to go to uh, the home page of the team site and you can see there is an option appearing on the left called view all, all site content so if you have used SharePoint 2007 it was saying view all site content at the, uh, in there but now you have this all site content option and you can see here you have different kind of um, options like document libraries, lists, discussion board, surveys, etc. So we can click on create here and you can see here that I see the same dialog again where I can choose what kind of list I want to create. So for this uh, section, for this demo, I'm going to create a calendar list for you. So let's say our uh, events calendar. And I'm going to simply create a uh, click on create and you can see pretty fast and it came back and you can see here that this is because this is the calendar list you can find calendar on the left you can find different options and you as soon as you mouse move your mouse on every day you will find this add option appearing and you can click on that option and it will open up the dialogue for you where you can simply enter the title let's say SharePoint training and you can say in Riyadh and you can enter the date start date and end date and you can uh, paste the values you can see here and you can click save and you will see that the SharePoint training will be starting to appear on all these dates moreover you can see that um, there are different kind of views which we are going to take a look at in a few moments Oh, okay, so before I um, go to the my next demo, just let take you know there uh, as a developer, you might go into situations where you don't want to use an out of the box list, because out of the box list has its own columns, has its own um, uh, ways uh, of use. You know, it has its own views, it has its own columns, it has its own metadata, etc. So. You will be you will be required to create a new custom list. So SharePoint also have something called a custom list, which you can use to start you create a list from for, for your own use. So how you can do that is going to view all site content again and click create, and then you can click on the list, and then you have to choose custom list. And once you use a custom list, you can name, game it employees. Although employees is a kind of list that I'm going to create can be covered by using contact list. But um, let's choose something like um, thongs. And let's click create. And you see that once the list is created, you will find only single column in there. So in my next demo, I'm going to show you how you can add columns so in this five minutes demo I've just showed you how we can use how we can create lists in SharePoint how they are used and how you can create items in the list so looking forward to you in the next demo on how to create how to create add columns and metadata inside SharePoint list thank you